Hey, Justin Dyson here, Dyson Apiaries. I see a lot of questions pop up about what's the point of an inner cover. Do I really need it? Do I not? And then I also see a lot of them being used incorrectly. So today we're going to try to answer some of those questions and, and give a little explanation of what the purpose is. Stick right with us. So first and foremost, really the, the first question is, do I need to be using an inner cover? And the question is, it kind of depends. It depends on what type of lid you're using. Um, we'll get into some of the other benefits of an inner cover a little later, but first we're gonna talk about if we actually need it. Now keep in mind when I'm talking about this, I'm not advocating for either any of the different types of uh, tops for beehives. I'm just trying to tell you how the, uh, how the different ones work and what the purpose of the inner cover does with the specific ones. So if we're using a migratory style lid, this is one for a nuke, but regardless, a migratory style lid does not have sides on it, right? So if we need to take that lid off, we can use our hive tool and go right in the side and pry that lid off. Now the other common type of lid, now there is just a flat high density plywood lid that commercial beekeepers use a lot. But for this point of this discussion, we're gonna talk about a migratory and a telescoping top, which is what this is. And if we notice, telescoping top drops down on all four sides. Now, if we put this lid straight down on this box, like this, the bees are going to glue down the edges of this. And when we go to take it off, it's gonna be glued down. Now, that's why we use hive tools, right? So if we have to use a hive tool on this lid, and we have to run in the side up under this telescoping lid and pry up and out to get this lid to pop up. If we continue to do that, we're gonna break the sides out of this lid. So one of the solutions is the inner cover. Now I'm gonna pull out an old one here so we can see, but we know that the bees are going to propolize the edges of the seams in their boxes. So the inner cover goes on here. Now let's talk really quickly before we go any further about the proper way to put on an inner cover. An inner cover has two sides. We have a side that has about a 3 8 of an inch offset in it. And then the other side is flat. Sometimes there's a little offset in it, but it's primarily flat. Offset. Our frames are set up to where the bottom edge of the frames is even with the bottom of the box. The top side is dropped down. And what this allows for is when we put a flat top on this box, flat side down, we leave just the right amount of bee space between this flat inner cover and the top of the frame. Bee space being 3 eighths of an inch, 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths of an inch. So we always want to put this cover with the flat side down. Next thing is, I like to put the slot in the front. Um, that's my preference. We'll talk a little more about why that's beneficial here in just a minute. So back to getting the, the kind of manipulating the colony, if we put that inner cover on like we talked about, and then we put this telescoping top on, the bees are definitely going to glue this inner cover down they're not so much going to glue this top down to the inner cover. That's what we see anyway. They will put just a little bit of propolis up there sometimes, but it's usually not severe. So what we do is when we go to manipulate this colony, most of the time, this lid will come off. It may take a little bump, or we may even have to stick our hive tool here and give it just a little bit, but not so much that we're gonna be breaking the sides out of the, inner, out of the uh, top. So we get the top off, then we have a glued down inner cover, but kind of like the migratory lid, now we can simply stick our hive tool in and pop our inner cover off. So that's kind of the first purpose of an inner cover is when we're using telescoping tops, the ability to be able to manipulate the colony properly. Now there's another benefit to our inner covers. 
If we think about insulation, like we use in a house, fiberglass insulation, or there's many different kinds. The purpose of insulation is to make air, the movement of air, slow down. And when we slow down the air movement, it forms a little barrier. So if we have cold air outside blowing against the wall, and then we have the insulation, a trapped set of air there, and then we have the inside, that, that the movement of that air will not allow that, that cold air to radiate over into our house, right? So what we're trying to do is just slow down the movement of that air. Same thing for heat. We don't want the heat to radiate in. We don't want the heat to radiate out when it's cold. So that's the purpose of insulation. Well, inner cover can kind of serve in that same capacity. So what we do, when we put the inner cover on and then we put the telescoping top on, we have a little bit of air up here that's kind of stagnant. And what that does is, there's, there's several different things that it does. Moisture is a big thing for bees in the wintertime. So when we have this on, let's just say we didn't use the inner cover and we use this top directly down on the bee colony. Well, if it's cold outside, this lid's gonna be very cold. The inside of that hive is gonna be very hot and humid because the respirations of the honeybee, so keeping the hive warm, is hot and humid. Well, you've probably heard the term dew point, but what happens is, as the hot, humid air rises up in that colony, it hits this lid, which is cold, and probably below deep dew point, depending on what the weather is currently that day, but it's probably gonna be below dew point, and what that means is the water is going to condense on the top of that lid, or on the underside of that lid, because the air, as it cools, it can't hold any more moisture. So it becomes at 100% humidity. So that water's gonna condense there, and as it builds, it's going to start dripping back down on the bees. We don't want that, that's tough on the bees, right? So one of the things that an inner cover does is, again, it creates that insulating barrier, and instead of the moisture condensing on the lid here, right above the bees, the air escapes up through the hole, and then it condenses on this lid. But all of that moisture is not necessarily gonna rain right back down on the bees. If we have our hives tilted slightly forward like we should, that water as it drips back off of this lid on those, on those cold days is gonna to run toward the front. Sometimes when you open a hive with a telescoping top and a inner cover, you'll, you'll even see the water stains in the top. And that just means there's a lot of moisture coming up out of the hive. But the good news is, it's not raining back down on that colony. That's a good thing. Now real quick, if you're using migratory tops to combat that, a lot of people will just stick a popsicle stick in the side of that, um, in, in the two front edges of that migratory top and it just allows some of that moisture to get out. But on this, a lot of that air is gonna come up and if the slot's cut in the front like it is, it may go ahead and escape and go out of the hive. Some's gonna condense on the underside of this telescoping top, but it's not gonna be raining back down on the bees. I think that's one of the biggest benefits probably of an inner cover that we can have. There's, a, there's another strategy in beekeeping that you can use if you, some people get into you know insulating their hives and, and things such as that. You can actually take a piece of that um, foam board that you can buy at the home improvement stores, like you wrap houses with, and you can cut a piece to fit inside this inner cover. It works really nicely um, to provide a little more insulation barrier. That's up to you. The other thing about that insulating barrier is not just in the winter, but if we talk about during the summertime, we have a 90 degree day and there's sun baking down on this lid and this lid gets up over 100 degrees. If we don't have this inner cover in here, that heat is right on top of the bees. And that the bees can handle that, they, they deal with it, but it just makes them work a little harder at, at, at ventilating the hive and such. So when we have this inner cover in, in place, again, we have this little insulating barrier and it just keeps a little bit of that heat off. Now I've also seen during the winter, I've done it myself when I was using all telescoping tops. I'd go along and I'd prop the lid up like that during the summer and just give them a little more ventilation, create a little bigger insulation area and maybe the bees would kind of work out of that entrance just a little bit.
Now, if we're using an inner cover and our bees are robbing, one of the reasons I always point this to front, again, I was talking about the moisture running through the front with our hive tilted forward, but also I always know where that hole is at because the, the telescoping top is slightly oversized. We can see that it slides back and forth a good three eighths of an inch. So if we shove it forward, it's ventilating or allowing bees to travel out of it. If we slide it back, it's sealed off. So I always know where that slot's at. Or if we're transporting the colony, um, we can always just slide that back and we can seal that upper entrance so the bees don't get out or in, you know, with the robbing. There's several other things that uh, inner cover can be used for. They make a little bee escape that snaps into this hole here. So if you're using that to remove bees from your honey supers or, or whatever, they make a bee escape that snaps in. Um, it would work for bucket feeding if you wanted to. You could set an additional box up here and set that bucket on top of that inner cover. You could put feed up here. There's a lot of different things that you can do with an inner cover. The sky's kind of the limits. Um, so even if you're using migratory style tops without sides on them and you don't need inner covers, you may find some other use for them like what I was talking about. So an inner cover is a nice thing to have around. And kind of the last thing I use inner covers for is I'll tape this hole up and I use them when I'm taking honey supers off. Instead of using lids, I'll stack up on our pallets when we're taking honey off. I'll put one of these on the bottom and I'll flip it over to where that hole's down, put a piece of tape on it and start stacking my supers up. And then on the top, I put one too and that keeps our bees from robbing while we're taking honey supers off. So they work good for covering stuff to keep, to keep robbing down. Again, a lot, lot of different things that we can use inner covers for. So anyway, I hope this kind of helps clear up some, some questions and whatnot about inner covers and, and what their uses are. Let me know how you use inner covers. I, I'd be curious to know. Um, and thanks for watching. Of course, as always, please like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all of our viewers watching. Thanks.